Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode. I hope you're doing well. Today, we will start on our inventory and items code. This will require uh, at least two episodes, so today the goal is to have the items into the game and also being rendered, so we can see them in the game. So that's today's goal, and without further ado, let's go! Just a quick reminder, all of the code I cover in my videos can be found on GitHub. Each episode will have its own branch. There's also a Discord server for this channel. Come in and say hello. If you wish to go the extra mile to support my work, you can do that on my Buy My Coffee page or becoming a member here on YouTube. Links can be found in the description below. We will start by adding three items and then add the code for it. So the items we're going to use are uh, an empty pot or bottle, a fish, and the medipack, and they look like there's the fish, here is the bottle, and here is the medic pack or medipack. And uh, I won't add too many items. You can add more items later if you if you want to. But we're gonna add these. So let's scroll down here to rest folder, drawable, and we're gonna take those three, drag them in there, and uh, drawable, yes, and there they are, we can minimize that. So what we're going to start with is to add a enum, like we've done before when we add something new, we need an enum usually. So in our entities package, we're going to add another package, no, to, to package. I'm going to call it uh, items, item, items, items. And this package is going to hold the enum, so Java enum, and we're going to call it items as well. I think, for example, we have game object is the class for a game object, and then we have the enum, which is called game objects, plural. So we're going to keep the same rule for our game here. Uh, we can actually bring up this game objects enum and put it to the right so we can see what we need. We do need the implementation. We had three types. I have some code prepared here. We had the empty pot, the medipack and the fish. Let's see if we can import the class, da, da, da. what's the difference? I don't know. There we go. Seems to work. And of course, we need the constructor items interest ID. All right. Then, of course, we need a sprite or actually a image because it's not an animation, it's just one image, so uh, image is a better name than sprite. Let's import bitmap as well. And it's complaining because we need to set it since it's a final. And we also need this in scaled uh, in the constructor. Then we need to load the image i'm just gonna copy here because there's a lot of code that is the same all the time we actually don't need this my bad so we need a scale bitmap bitmap from the bitmap factory main activity context resource res id options done but maybe we should store it in the image as well what could we need in here? We will need a get image. So public get image. We need a public uh, ba -ba 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 int get width. We need a come on, public int get height height. And I think that's all we need. Return image dot get width. And 
down here we need get height done so we have empty pot as you see yep that one is found medipack is found and fish is found i'm using control left click to make sure that i actually find it and i did which is nice so we have the enum now what is the next step that might be to add the actual item class that we'll just hold the basic values for an item so we have the enum now we're gonna go for the class and that is gonna happen inside the new package so java class item so we have item items we have game object game objects we should have at least one more i think building buildings building buildings yeah and i think we can keep this item class rather simple um we're going to need to store the position, the width, the height, and uh, a hitbox because the item will be found in the world. So it needs a position where it's going to be drawn. It needs a hitbox, so width and height, because we might want to walk over the item to pick it up to keep it simple. You kill an enemy, pff, an item drops, and you walk over the item, you pick it up, or something like that. So a hitbox for simplicity we will need and we have that in our entity class because here we have the hitbox checking if it's active or not for sorting that's where last camera y value is for uh, get the hitbox is that yeah you know whatever we might need for it so let's just create the constructor matching super and uh, will we need the width and height in there i don't think we are going to need to specify it here because when we say position we're also going to declare what type of item it is and what type of item it is might be one of these and we have width and height here so we can actually go uh, items item type and we're going to store it in here. So items, item type. We're gonna fix the width and height in a second. Item type equals item type. And we might wanna specify that it's this dot item type. Now we can say item type get width item type get height right yeah perfect and what else what else we are going to need a getter because we want to know what type of item it will be or rather we want to be able to access values in here so if there's an uh, fish we want to say fish or draw fish and then we can go public get item type so we go fish dot get item type dot get image and then we draw it and i don't think we need anything right now we can have a lot of item a lot of values in here and uh, things to keep track of what's happening but we're gonna add them as we Go. so now i think this class is done um you know what we're gonna switch these two so we have items first we say what type of item it is and then we say the position it doesn't really matter as soon as as long as we pass in in the correct order for super we can ask for whatever here why are you yellow final um yeah actually let's make it final we didn't add too much code but we should be able to draw it you know what? We might actually need to have a place to store the items. And we're gonna see... It's gonna be maybe some changing back and forth because until we have the full picture it's hard to understand exactly how every part works together. Uh, I think we're gonna start with it inside our game map. Just like we have our enemies, objects, etc. We're gonna have some items that are spawned or gets spawned inside a game map so in here 
we will have a private array list item um, <laughs> items items or item array list let's do it like that and we need to import the class item and clip no item and in this constructor we ask for a array list I item items can minimize that for a second then this the item array list equals items yep we call items uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and just fix this. Da, 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 da. Get trouble list. If items array list is not equal to null for item i, item array list, list i plus plus equals i. Oh. Maybe we should call it item. Item, item. I, let's call it. So we don't have, so we don't call I and index the same or item and index the same. So let's call it. That's fine. We're going to take this copy because I think we need it down here as well. Yeah, if our release isn't, isn't null, amount plus equal item or list dot size and let's add on a getter here as well public get item array list yes i think that's all we need to do here now we're gonna get some errors and that's because when we create these maps we don't give them anything and we're gonna start simple, nothing inside, no items inside, we're just gonna have them in the outside. So we're gonna start with null in there. Null. We really need to get a better way of loading the levels, but for now, manual is the way to go. Uh, let's load this outside map with something. So just like we do up here, uh, let's just create an array list. Array list item. Import the class. What the hell? In create no import class. Thank you. There we go. And outside item array list. Equals new array list. Done. And we're gonna create one of each. Add new item. Items dot fish where uh, 500, 50, 60, 600. I don't know. And it's not like that. It's new point F. Keep forgetting that. Or wait. It's like that, actually. I'm gonna copy that. Doink, doink. Not fish, but... Didn't we have something called bottle? Empty pot. And... Medipack. Position... 200... 800... 900... 360. Yeah, why not? And this... We take in and add in that game map. All right, so now it's in the game map. For now, we're gonna just keep it here. What do we do next? Currently, they are in the game, but we have no way of rendering them. Let's just try and see if our game starts. All right, so it started up and we can run around. The games or the items are in the game, but we are not drawing them. So let's go ahead and draw them items. But where should we draw it? Um, that's a good question. 
we might be able to draw them in this class. Because we have draw tiles, draw building, draw objects, so why not just have it here? Public void draw item. So we're going to ask for canvas C and the item item. So item dot get hitbox dot left plus camera X. Item dot get hitbox dot top plus camera Y null. And is that it? So now, can we, now we can just pass in the item and we're going to draw it. And the last piece of the puzzle is in here. The playing class. Because we have a sorted list and the objects also going to need to be sorted. And we are going to copy one of those. Paste it like that. Item. Item. Import class, yes. Map manager, draw building. No, thank you, but item, maybe. So now, if the entity in this list of drawables becomes or is a item, we draw it. Sounds simple enough. Let's see. How about that? Here we go. We got the fishy and the, the sorting works. So right now I'm behind the fish and I'm in front of the fish. There might be some extra work needed here, but the idea is that you're not supposed to run over it. Like as soon as you get close enough, it's going to be picked up, I think. And oh, you want to fight? All right. You lost. And uh, yeah, but this is looking, it's looking good. It's a start, good start actually. And uh, we're gonna stop here. All right guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and hit that like button. And as I mentioned, next episode, we're gonna continue on this and make sure that we can pick up the items as well. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care now and have a wonderful day. Bye.